The principle called uh, that which must be born suggests that the, the things that we encounter in our lives that we cannot avoid or control that are outside of the scope of our control yet nevertheless occur to us like getting uh, an illness we couldn't avoid or being in a, a traffic accident that wasn't our fault or that we couldn't avoid even if it was our fault um, is, you know in, incurring some sort of requiring some sort of debt in our life like this thing I did with a recent, a recent purchase that I made um, that was in, really did, probably didn't need to make good timing. I was I was just kicking myself before I started talking about this, about a purchase that I made that I really didn't need to make, but the trigger has been pulled, the money has been sent, the transaction is complete. Now, I have to bear that. Born as in carried, not birthed. That which must be born are the things that are outside of our control or the consequences of the decisions that we make that might, might have been better otherwise decided. We have to bear those things. The trick is to do it in such a way as to not be overly focused on the weight or to be overly complaining about it or, or resentful or to let that bear us down unnecessarily, to carry it with as much strength as we can to the best of our ability and as for as long as we can in spite of the burden and the weight. I guess that was timely that I thought about that. I remembered this purchase just in time for, to reflect on this principle. That which must be born, the weight that we must carry. Now, does that mean that we can't shed it off? Mm. With maturity and reason and fortitude, we can. For example, when this uh, purchase comes up to renew in a year, I can stop and ask myself, what would be the better way to do it? Is this good value? Was this the right way to do it? Should I switch to the month to month? Would I? What is the better approach? And then execute a better plan of action. Or c prepare, compose a better plan of action and then execute it accordingly. That which must be born can also be a means to do better going forward. It is the stuff of wisdom, the fuel, the, the kindle of the flame of better, the flame of reason. No, that sounds crappy. It is the, it is the stuff that we burn. There you go. It is the stuff that we burn that becomes part of the conflagration of our folly. The conflagration of folly. <laughs> I like that. It tumbles, tumbles off. The creation that burns and warms us as we deliberate better in the future. It's part of the reason why we get better with age, usually, often, if we try if we remember, and if we endeavor to bear that which must be born.